Hello and welcome to the Connecting to the Polygon ZK EVM guide. In this guide, we'll cover how to connect to the Polygon ZK EVM using MetaMask, how to deploy a smart contract to the Polygon ZK EVM, and how to track your transaction states um, using the Block Explorer. So let's get started. Let's connect to the Polygon ZK EVM on MetaMask. If you have MetaMask installed on your network, you would need to come to the network selection drop down that's at the very top. Click on show and high test networks just in case you don't have that enabled and enable um, the showing of test networks. Then from there, we could just go back to the same network selection drop down, click on add network. And once you do, you would need to enter the RPC details that were supplied to you. Um, for, the, for the name, feel free to add whatever name um, is most appropriate to you. That will enable you to remember the specific network well. I'm using Polygon ZK EVM testnet. Enter the RPC URL um, and the chain ID that was supplied. The currency symbol remains ETH. And for the block explorer, you could use the one that was supplied to you as well. And once you have all those details added, you should be able to click save and your contract state should be able to be updated. Let's now deploy a smart contract to Remix. And if you, and just for your information, if you do not have any funds on the Polygon ZK EVM and you signed up, don't worry, we will cover how to bridge assets from the Gorelli test network onto Polygon ZK EVM so that you'll be able to have ETH to play around with. Nevertheless, let's move on to Remix. So in Remix, I have a basic smart contract that I use for my own um, development purposes. Um, you could use whichever um, you like. If you have any other smart contracts that you you prefer to use, um, you, you do not have to use Remix. You could use any scripting network. And remember that the Polygon ZK EVM is just like Ethereum. And so your basic RPC setup should be the same. And your scripts for deployment should also work um, in the same way. Um, for now, let's compile my sample smart contract um, and let's go into deploying and running the transactions. The environment, very important step here, is make sure that you select the um, injected provider, which is your MetaMask provider. And that means for every transaction that you will do um, in this session, you'll use the Polygon ZK EVM testnet. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. Let's deploy this brand new contract. Um, my constructor calls for an integer to be added. And so uh, in the constructor, so I'm just going to supply that and click deploy. And it should kick off any second now on MetaMask. There we go. And so I'm deploying, uh, I've enabled the transaction. And yeah, that's essentially how easy it is to deploy to the Polygon ZK EVM, just like Ethereum. Let's, let's now run a few transactions. Um, I'd like to deposit, my, my smart contract has a deposit function. So let's deposit 400 way. Um, and I'm just going to hit deposit here and that's essentially it. My transaction should be running on the side there. Ethereum comes up. Um, I can confirm the data. The function is being hit is deposit. And if you want to go into it, the bytes that are being sent across and I could authorize the transaction. It should go, go about fairly quickly. So if you check the activity, it'll let you know even on MetaMask how quickly that is progressing. And that's it. You have successfully deployed your smart contract using Remix to the Polygon ZK EVM. And once you've deployed, you could also we've also run a we've also run a deposit transaction. Um, I will have you know that there might be a slight delay between now and when your transactions will be available. So even if you click on the block explorer and you don't see anything right away, just remember it's being indexed. 
and some of the counts might be inaccurate but nevertheless you could still come to the main screen here and you'll be able to see all of your transactions so this is the contact creation transaction that i just did and if you click on your specific id you'll be able to see all of the transactions that have currently been indexed by the block explorer and subsequent transactions should be able to show up really well so in case you have any questions feel free to reach out to the polygon developer relations team who will assist you with any further queries thank you very much and we have come to the end of this guide in which we covered how to connect to the polygon zk evm using metamask how to deploy a contract to the polygon zk evm and lastly uh, how to view transactions using the block explorer